You think Google Glass was so original, don't you? Well, think again. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Amazon knows e-readers and tablets, but its next area to conquer could be smartphones. A report from Bloomberg has the media buzzing again about the idea of an Amazon smartphone. We heard this last year from analysts, but now anonymous sources are saying that Amazon's buying up wireless patents to prepare. Just think, if Amazon knocked the Windows phone off the number three spot, we'd have a smartphone industry led by the A-team, Apple, Android, and Amazon. Now, this might not happen anytime soon or even at all, but do expect to hear more about the next Kindle Fire. We hear Amazon will announce some new tablets at the end of this month. Google showed the world what a computer on your face can do with its demo of Google Glass. But Google was not the only one toying with the idea of a headset device. Olympus published a press release about its own prototype of an augmented reality pair of glasses that would display information on the lenses. And it would connect to a phone via Bluetooth. Apple doesn't want to be left out of the party either. It filed a patent in 2006 for an image to be projected via a head-mounted display apparatus. And it was just granted that patent. But you know who had the first augmented reality headset? That's right, Star Trek, baby. Wesley warned us, but you know, we just didn't listen. In other news we're watching, Netflix is having a good week. How about that? Netflix reached a new milestone. Customers have streamed more than 1 billion hours of video. Be sure to download updates to Windows come Tuesday because Microsoft is releasing a patch to fix nine security issues, one of them being tied to Internet Explorer 9. And if you're an AT&T customer and your phone is lost or stolen, you can report it to AT&T and have the device blocked from ever being used. Because why would a thief want a phone if it's bricked? This will also apply to tablets. It's a crime-fighting effort all national carriers stand behind. AT&T is just the first to make it happen. Great news, you can now own the first 4K resolution movie to purchase, even though you don't even have a 4K TV set to view it on. For those of you rolling your eyes, allow me to explain. 4K goes beyond 1080p, and right now it's something only cinema enthusiasts talk about. But a beautiful 50-minute film called Timescapes will be the first 4K film that the public can buy. And if you want it on a USB drive, it'll set you back just 99 bucks. As far as TVs go, Toshiba pushed the release of its 4K TV to sometime next year. That's your tech news update for today. For more on the stories in today's show, visit CNET.com slash update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.